wanted to record a really fun, colorful, spring-inspired look. This is what I came up with, like kind of like a spring goddess with butterflies and colors and glitter. And I just had a lot of fun with this look today. It's just a fun body paint look, you know, with a lot of glam and a lot of butterflies. It's been so nice here in Colorado lately. The weather has inspired me to do this beautiful look. So if you'd like to see how I achieved this uh, green spring goddess look, then please keep watching. Hi everyone. So first off, I wanted to show my inspiration around this look. So I did see It's Likely Makeup's version of this look the other day and the butterflies were so inspiring that I just wanted to create my own version since spring is approaching. It was so cute and I also found these pictures on Pinterest that really sparked my imagination and it just looks so lifelike like the butterflies just landed on these people. It's just so pretty and it really inspired me for today's look. So getting started, you want a bare face. You don't want nothing on your face. Make sure you clean it, make sure you moisturize it, make sure you do all you gotta do to it before we start this body paint. And just a fair warning, this body paint is very hard to get off. And I do suggest using like a makeup meltdown remover and like a body scrub. And you might still have some left on for a few days, who knows? I don't know, it sticks there pretty good. So starting off, of course, we're using my favorite Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in Eden. And I do like to start with my eyes and my face, and then I go on to my body. I used to do my body first and then go on to my face, but, you know, I don't know. Lately, I've been feeling the face first whenever I'm doing a body paint. Even though I haven't done a ton lately, I'm getting inspired to keep doing them, so hopefully there's more. Zooming in on this cute little face... I'm taking my Star Crushed Minerals eyeshadow in Solar Dust and I'm putting this in the crease and blending it up towards my eyebrow and I'm just making it really dramatic. We're going for super drama today so don't hold back. Then I'm taking my Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette and I am going to be dipping into the more mustard yellow in this one and the teal color down in the corner as well. So I'm first taking that mustard yellow and I'm just putting that right into the crease just to add some more dimension with that yellow. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that teal color just to start the process of the green in my crease. Then I'm taking this other Star Crush Minerals eyeshadow which wouldn't focus apparently in Neptune Star and it has a little tiny bit of a shimmer in it, not too much, just a little bit. And I'm putting that right in the crease and I'm really making a very winged, very dramatic cat eye shape for this shadow. And I'm really bringing it all the way up to my eyebrow bone too, pretty much. You'll see here in a minute. Then I'm taking Deep Forest from Star Crush Minerals. And this is a very deep green. And I'm putting that right in the crease and the outer corner of the eye. I'm just doing a lot of dimension for this look. And honestly, these are just so many random colors. I just wanted it to be reminded of spring. Just like all the colors you can think of when you think of spring, you know? Then I'm taking my NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Chantilly, and I am carving out my lid. I'm not doing a cut crease, a full cut crease, just a halfway cut crease. Then I'm taking my Moonchild Glow Kit from Anastasia in the shade Lucky Clover, and I'm packing this all over the lid just to set the concealer. And taking that teal color from the Huda palette again, and just deepening the crease, making sure that the concealer blends in with the shadow nice and seamlessly. Then I'm taking this glitter from Star Crush Minerals. It's an Elphaba's Enchantment. That's the shade name. Isn't that cute as heck? Then I'm taking my Too Faced Glitter Glue as well, and I'm placing the glitter glue down. I'm leaving a little bit of a space, so I'm not taking, I'm not covering that whole area that I cut out because I'm going to be creating a white line there. So I'm just doing the glitter glue, and then I'm packing down the glitter right on top of it. It's such a pretty glitter. It has like yellows and different kinds of greens in it. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. And I like to use a really, really small brush to pack it right in the areas I want it to be in. Then I'm taking this LA Splash Cosmetics Pro Artist Liner, and this is an alabaster, and I'm just going over that line right there that I left open to make sure it's nice and opaque, and yeah, it's just a fun little detail to add. Hey, 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 hey. 
Moving on to the face, now that we have the eyeshadow done, I am priming my face with my Hangover Primer from Too Faced first to give some hydration. And then to fill in my pores a little bit and control some oil, I'm using my Primed and Peachy from Too Faced. And I'm just putting it in my T-zone area where I have pores and where I get oily at. For our coloring today, I'm using these Makeup Forever paints. So they're two different paints. This one is from the Flash Paint palette that they have where it's like a few different shades. And then this one is their Aqua paints, which are in little tiny tubes. So they're a little bit of a different texture, but I am going to be mixing them together with my Ben Nye Clown White as well because I want it to be kind of like a faded minty green color. And I'm going to be using this... Uh, slanted angled brush right here. It's very compact, so it's going to buff in that color really nicely and blend it out. I don't want it to be too sheer. I want the color to stay pretty opaque, so this type of brush will work really well. I also use a beauty blender um, to make sure there's no harsh lines and to make sure everything looks nice and pretty and soft. So I am just laying down the blue color first and then taking the clown white and adding some on top and then I'm just blending it all together. You want to make sure you cover everything on your face. And then I'm taking the clown white and just doing it underneath of my eyes to add a highlight, you know, like you do with concealer. I'm just doing that underneath my eyes with the clown white. And I also powder everything with my Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder because there's no color to it. So it's just a totally white translucent powder and it sets everything really nicely. And here I'm getting real weird, guys. I'm just like dancing and having a good time. Yep. So I'm just painting my body. I don't know. I get really weird when I start painting myself because I start going kind of crazy. You know, I'm sitting here for hours painting myself. So, you know, I just let loose and have a good time. And I take the paint about down to my elbows on my arms just so when I'm doing pictures you can't, you know, see my actual skin color. And let me tell you, I love being like a different color, like blue or like green or red or pink or whatever. It's so fun painting yourself a different color like this. I just love it. Then I'm taking my Ben Nye Final Seal Mist. This is going to make sure the paints stay in place and I sprayed it all over my chest. That way they don't move while I'm finishing up the rest of my makeup. It works really well. Then I'm just going to fix my shadow a little bit. I'm going back in with that yellow solar dust shade and just kind of blending everything onto my blue skin. Going back in with Deep Forest as well just to make sure everything's blended out and it looks nice. Then I'm taking my basket case liner from Kat Von D and I'm just doing it on the lower outer part of my lash line. And I'm taking Deep Forest again and just blending that out really well and connecting it with my giant winged shadow. I'm taking this highlight from Star Crush Minerals. It's called Arm Candy. It's super, super soft, so you need to be really careful with it. But I'm using it as my inner corner highlight. I also use it for my brow bone as well. And then taking my Line Ace from Sigma Beauty. This is in the shade Legend, which is just black. This eyeliner is really amazing because it's just a matte liner. Like, it's very rare to find a true matte liner. But this one, once it dries down, it is super matte. Like, there is no shine in this. But I'm just doing a giant cat eye. Then for brows, I'm using my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. And this is in the shade Ash Brown. Since I'm doing my hair kind of like a lavender color, I didn't want to make my brows black. So I just went in with this really quickly, carved them out, and voila. I carved them out with the Clown White paint as well. I didn't use my usual concealer because I'm blue so I don't want to use like a yellow or a pink toned concealer you know because it'll mix together and then it won't look very well so I used a white to highlight my brows and just to clean all that up I popped my wig on this wig is from everyday wigs it's so pretty and now I'm starting my contouring process I'm taking the shade Neptune star and I'm just carving out a line first and then I'm taking a big fluffy brush and really blending that out so it's a really seamless contour but I wanted it to be really dramatic looking so that's why I started with the line at first doing my jawline and I'm also contouring my forehead as well and then I'm going back in with that smaller brush and doing a very dramatic contour on my nose I 
I also contour my lower lip there just to make my lips look a little bit larger than they actually are. For highlight, I'm using that Arm Candy one again from Star Crush Minerals. It's really, really pretty. It's got like a blue reflex in it. It's gorgeous. And then I'm also contouring my chest a little bit, like my collarbones, my cleavage, all that stuff. And then I'm taking that same highlight again and highlighting my collarbones and my arms, my shoulders. This is the only time that I would ever be able to use this blush, so I thought, why not go for it? So I'm taking my Sigma Aura Powder in Sigma Pink. It's a blush, and it's super pink, but I thought it would look really pretty with this look, so I just added it to my cheeks, and it was pretty intense, so I went in with the powder and the contour again and kind of went over it to make sure it blended all together, but it did look really, really pretty. For lashes, I'm using these ones from Rouge and Rogue. They're Black Magic Lashes. It's in the style Mythic. And I'm using my Better Than Sex Mascara and putting that on first my top and my lower lashes today. And these dramatic... These... <laughs> These lashes are really dramatic, but they're not like over the top dramatic, you know? They just give a little something. They are super pretty. Then I'm just taking my basket case again and going under my lash line to make sure everything blends together. And for lips today, I am using my lip liner from LA Splash Cosmetics. It's in the shade Orchid. And then I'm taking my lipstick from Urban Decay. It's in the shade Panda no Pan. Pandanoni, pan, pan, girl, I can't pronounce that. I don't know what's wrong with me right now, but it's just a matte purple shade, and I'm putting that right on top of my lip liner. Ooh, yeah. Now, here's the fun part. I bought all these butterflies from the dollar store and from Michael's as well, and I'm applying them with some liquid latex. These are super pretty. I just got a bunch of different colors, like oranges, blues, pinks. I just went to town. And I'm using my Ben Nye Liquid Latex to adhere them. And you're also going to need some Q-tips. That way you can apply the liquid latex onto the butterflies. So I'm just dipping my Q-tip in liquid latex, applying it on the body of the butterfly there. And then I'm just pressing it wherever I want it. And I'm just holding it for about 30 seconds. And you just want to repeat the process. You want to do random colors. You don't want to stick too many oranges together, too many blues together. You really want to, you know, think about where you're placing all these different colors at so that it looks really like it just looks more uniform even though it's more random i guess and i popped some earrings in too just to add for the glam effect i also placed some butterflies in my hair just to make it look like these butterflies just landed all over the place. They just came out of nowhere and they just landed on me because I'm a spring goddess and that's what happens when you're a goddess, right? Well, that's the end of this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This was a really fun look. I forget how fun body paints are. They just take so dang long that it's kind of um, a difficult process, but it looks so pretty in the end. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you're subscribed to see all of my other looks and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.